We're here at Barlow's Knoll on the first day's battlefield in Gettysburg National Military Park. And it would be here on this knoll that Francis Barlow led his division of 2,300 men of the 11th Army Corps. Barlow took advantage of the knoll here because it's really the only significant ground on the first day's battlefield north of town. And he wanted to hold this key terrain. Uh, little did Barlow realize that coming down the Harrisburg Road was the division of General Jubal Early arriving on the battlefield. Uh, Jubal Early deployed his division and spearheaded by the Georgia Brigade of John Gordon would uh, attack Barlow here at the knoll and strike him on his vulnerable right flank, driving Barlow's men off the knoll. And this was the beginning of the end for the 11th Corps north of town on July 1st, 1863. One of the most famous human interest stories of the Battle of Gettysburg is the so-called uh, Barlow-Gordon incident. Allegedly, as the Union men are retreating, Francis Barlow is trying to stem that tide, and he's severely wounded. He's found by General Gordon. Gordon, thinking Barlow will surely die, uh, briefly tends to him, uh, makes sure Barlow's wife can travel through the lines and nurse him, uh, but Gordon leaves the field thinking Barlow will die. Many years later, according to John Gordon, uh, Gordon and Barlow meet again. Uh, both men are alive and thus begins a, a renewed friendship that began here on the Gettysburg battlefield. John Gordon in his, his memories after the war, in his book, and his public speeches tended to exaggerate some of his claims. So there is perhaps a bit of truth in this story. No doubt John Gordon perhaps saw Barlow on the field, but like many of his post-war claims, Gordon does tend to blow things out of proportion. Still, it remains one of the most famous human interest stories on this battlefield and could have perhaps happened anywhere on this knoll behind me.